friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and it has been a hot minute since I've done a DIY video on my channel but that all changes today because not too long ago I made an order on Misguided and bought some super cute clothes but in that haul there were some items that just weren't it for me and they were firstly this yellow bridesmaids dress. I think it's gorgeous but it's just something that I'm never ever going to wear and also in that same haul I got this blue dress that is unfortunately too short on me to be able to wear. So usually when items don't fit me or just aren't what I really wanted I return them to the company but I bought these before I went to England then I went to England for five weeks came back and opened up the package and realized that these weren't it so I could not return them so I thought instead of just leaving them around my apartment taking up space and unfortunately being a waste of a fashion, I would instead attempt to DIY and upcycle them into some really cute outfits. So it has been a while since I've done a DIY, so I am a little bit nervous going into this video. Hopefully it works out okay, but I mean, without further ado, let's just get on into it. All right, we are now sitting on the floor and on my vlog camera, because it's just a lot easier to film on this one. So we are going to first start off with the blue dress. So I am gonna take this dress that doesn't really fit me and hopefully turn it into a really cute two-piece that is hopefully going to be very tight and well-fitting and just gorgeous. So this is actually my first DIY I'm filming since moving out all those months ago. So whenever I filmed my old DIYs, I used to actually borrow my mom's sewing kit. So I had to go out and buy all new sewing supplies. So what you will need for this DIY is obviously this dress and then I am also going to be using some needles, some thread invisible thread so it's meant for a sewing machine I do have a sewing machine but it broke and I don't know how to fix it so I need to get onto that but yeah today we're gonna be hand sewing so I thought invisible thread would be good to use for both and then also some safety pins and best of all I finally got a pair of fabric scissors you guys have been telling me for ages to get some because apparently it makes DIY so much easier so I finally went out and got some the first thing I want to do is turn this into a two-piece so I'm going to do that by cutting just above the elastic line here. That way this will stay as a skirt and I don't need to do any hemming or anything because the elastic is already there. Now that the dress is inside out, it makes it a lot easier to see where to cut. So literally just above the elastic here, that way it means I don't have to do as much work. Alright, this is what the skirt looks like on and it does look pretty cute as is but I just want to make it a little bit tighter and more fitted to my body. So to do that I'm going to find the hemline that goes straight down on this skirt which for me it's right here and I'm then going to just using some safety pins safety pin it in just so it'll be a little bit tighter and it'll sit more like this. So I'm doing it on the hemline because I'm about to cut that. So let's safety pin all down the side here. All right, the skirt is now, ah, it has been cut up as you can see. Don't mind my phone, I'm watching some YouTube whilst I do this, but so now that it is all, you know, uh, cut up, I am going to then sew it all back together but by taking it in a little bit this much actually that's how much of the pin so all of that fabric I'm going to sew down onto the other side I don't know if that really made sense but if you keep watching it should make sense what I am talking about all right that has been all sewn together up there so now if we flip the skirt back to being the right way ta-da this is where I have sewn it all up and you can't even tell. It doesn't look like it was DIY'd, it just looks like normal. So that is the skirt all done. But I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like just yet because we still have to transform this long sleeve top into something a bit more my style. Okay, my plan for this top is to turn it into a cute little strappy crop top like this, except it'll have the gorgeous chain print on it. So I think it'll look really cute. And the way that I'm going to do that is by using this as a template. Using this crop top as a measurement, there is plenty of fabric on the back here to make a cute crop. So 
Taking my scissors, which are the beautiful fabric scissors, I am going to cut off the sleeves and cut off this top elastic bit because we're going to use that in the next DIY. That way I'm left with just the middle part right here that is all the print that we're going to turn into the crop. All right, we are now left with this base bit of fabric and this is going to be our crop top. So this black crop top fits me perfectly, so I'm gonna use that to measure. So from the hemline to here, I need, and then from there, let's stretch it over to there, I will need. I mean, it's just rough. I'm gonna cut that out right there. Then I can try it on and if it's too small, I can fix it. It's easier to cut a little bit bigger than what you think you'll need than less. It is much easier to make something smaller than to try and make it bigger. So we have run into our first problem in this DIY. I accidentally cut that material way too short to be a crop top. So we are going to plan B and are using the sleeves to make a crop top. And I actually think that these might work better. Sorry, that would be great if it did. <laughs> because all on the bottom here, oh my gosh, don't mind my leggings that are actually covered in <laughs> threads and everything. But on the bottom here, it's already hemmed. So I'm going to cut out one little square here, one square from the other sleeve. It was sew them together and that will be our crop top. Hopefully this time it works. I mean, I was just trying to thread my needle, but someone had a better idea on what to do with the thread, didn't you, Charlie? All right, now that this is all sewn together, there's only one more step. And that is to add some straps to the top. So for that, I'm going to be using uh, this, which was originally on the dress. So I mean, the straps are already done, ready to use. I'm just going to sew them on and then that's it. And the DIY number one is done. There we go, one strap is all attached, so now I'm gonna do it to the other side. And ta-da, this is what the DIY looks like on, and I am so happy with how this turned out. As you guys saw for a moment there, I really didn't think this was gonna work when I accidentally cut off too much material, but it just goes to show that that is really what happens with all of these DIYs. Stuff goes wrong, and it's all about how you can make it work from this. I am so happy with how this set turned out. It definitely for me is a lot more wearable than that original dress because I've been able to make the skirt a little bit longer just by wearing it lower. When it was in the dress, the elastic band was actually a little bit higher. So now I feel a lot more comfortable wearing it out and about and I have made it a lot tighter up the side here, which means that if a breeze comes, it's not gonna float up, which I love. So I am just so happy with how this turned out. It's now the perfect vacation set. And just so is how easy it is to change any dress that you're not really into into a gorge two-piece. All right, we are now on to the second DIY. So my plan for this beautiful yellow dress is to turn it into a two-piece again, but it's going to be different to the last one because I really want to add some fun details on the sleeves that'll make it look super cute. I'm a little bit intimidated by how much material there is on this dress, but hopefully, I mean, the last DIY worked out, so hopefully this one will too. So step number one is that we are going to cut this into two pieces so that we have a cute crop top all by itself and then literally the rest of the dress so I'm going to cut just along this line here all right so now that we have two different sections we're just gonna put this crop top to the side for now we're not done with it but we're gonna focus on the skirt because it is massive so first of all I'm going to cut off this excess material just here because this is actually going to be the cute little sleeves on our crop top. So let's cut that off. All right, there we have this little bit of fabric, which again, we're going to put to the side because I just want to do the skirt first. Obviously, I don't want to leave it as long as it is, so we're going to put this skirt on it to see how short I want to make it. All right, I've just changed my top so that we can see how this skirt is looking better. And this is what we are left with after cutting off the crop top. So I am going to hem up the top here, that way I don't have that jagged edge sticking out. So I think that I want to have more of a midi length uh, skirt, I would say dress, <laughs> midi length skirt with this one because the last one was mini so I think a longer one would look better. So I'm going to use a safety pin to mark where I want it which I think is just 
above the knee. I think that'll look really cute. So now let's go cut along my little safety pin line to have a gorge midi skirt. Ta-da! Now we have a cute midi skirt. So I am just now going to hem the top up here. The bottom doesn't really need any hemming because for once I cut in a straight line, so we love that. So I'm just gonna hem the top up here. Then the skirt is done. Ta-da! There we go. The skirt is looking a lot better with a nice straight edge. So that is the skirt all done. All right, I have been doing this for so long that it's actually dark outside now. And as you can see, I'm using my ring light for some sort of lighting because I leave for a flight for Melbourne tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I need to get this done tonight. So we are working through the night to get this done. So I have finished one sleeve on this crop top because I wasn't too sure how I was going to do it. So I wanted to test it before I filmed it. This is how it has turned out. It's a gorgeous little fluffy sleeve there. So it looks a little bit weird, but I promise it will look great when on. So let's make the next one. For that, we are going to take some elastic and put it together in, like stitch it together in a loop like so. All right, now that we have our bit of elastic, we are going to take the a long piece of fabric that we just cut out from the bottom of the dress and sew that on to the elastic just in this one spot here, just real quick. And then once that is all sewn in, I'm just going to take some of the material and scrunch it up like so, so that it has that little circle thingy there. <laughs> And then I'm going to sew in just behind there. So not on the circle bit, just on the next part because that will create the ruffled effect that I am going for when we wear it. Then once that first little circle thingy is attached, you can do another one like so. Just adding lots of fabric and scrunching it up will is the way to do it. So I am going to do that to the rest of the sleeve. All right, now that we have the other sleeve that's looking a bit like a jellyfish, we are going to attach it just on the side here. There's a little bit of lining and that will be the perfect spot. That way it sits right on my shoulders. And that is then the final step and this shirt will be done to complete the set. And with that, this is what the DIY looks like. And I am so happy with how this has turned out and I'm so happy that it's done. If I have to stitch another stitch by hand today, I think I would have actually gone crazy. So I'm very happy this is done. I'm definitely adding getting my sewing machine fixed to my to-do list if I want to do any more DIY vids because I just definitely recommend investing in one if you don't have one already and you love DIYs because it makes the process so much easier. But I'm so happy with how this turned out regardless. You guys remember what it originally looked like, the bridesmaid's dress. And now we have this cute cute little two-piece set that I just think is so much more wearable for me personally because I mean I don't have any weddings to go to especially not as a bridesmaid so this is just a lot more wearable and a lot more fun with the cute little elements of the sleeves and I am just so happy with how both of these have turned out. My makeup is looking oily after filming all day but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you can't hear any of the noise outside. I forgot that it's literally a Saturday night and people are out partying and there's like a party going on out Outside, so I just hope you can't hear that. This is my idea of a lit Saturday night doing some DIYs. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know every single time I upload. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter if you want to see these DIYs in action or just more pics of me. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I did making it. And I will see you next time. Bye!